looking back into the last year and recognizing our accomplishments, our goals, I have to say Bisata Dishmaya that I feel that we have reached our goals and actually exceeded our goals, able to help people in many different ways that we never did before. And so, may Hashem help us in the future just to move on and on more and more and better and better. When Boyne Island was founded, we were going with the thoughts of one baby at a time. Who ever dreamt of reaching 10,000? Every number that we count is not a number, it's a world, it's a baby, it's, it's a, a future. These 10,000 babies will make their mark in the world. When Boyne Island pays for a couple to go through a treatment, it can enable them to have usually another baby or another baby or another baby so this 10,000 number really could be even triple. We opened up our own new lab, which we're going to be able to do a lot of the services that we don't have to outsource it anymore. It's going to be done in our premises, but our people, and people feel much more supportive. Boneola, I'm always trying to be on the top of everything and to see uh, where is the newest uh, scientific uh, progress uh, all over the world. So this gives us the uh, opportunity to help many other couples to, to have uh, babies. About 15 years ago, egg freezing was something that was really a developing technology. But there's been amazing progress in the efficacy and the success of the technology over the last 10 or 15 years. We have a new program, it's called Your Future Tomorrow, for singles to encourage them, to advise them, and to guide them, to finance them, to do cryopreservation, to preserve their fertility. Having a program from an organization like Boni Olam that is legitimizing and recognizing this need is gonna have a tremendous impact on creating Jewish families in the future. We had this year the first baby born to the first uterine transplant, which is a milestone, is minor to explain what this miracle did for this person and for so many people in Claudisville, which Abu Hashem now planning, pinning their hopes, they also gonna be one day be able to have a child on their own, a beautiful, healthy baby. It's an experimental treatment, but it's likely to become a clinical treatment in the future. And if we add minimum invasive surgery, we could possibly expand the pool of donors. We could possibly get altruistic donors also. We actually opened up this year another branch, which is called Kesha. People with medical issues can, in anonymity, post their information on websites. So we have six Shatran in the background trying to match up. Boyne Oilam is already involved with these medical conditions prior and when they're still a boy and girl. So if we can even help them going further in life to be able to get married and find a Shidduch, it'd be Gewaldi Gazach. Zakeni is a program which basically hit worldwide in every Yiddish home. It brought people to, to recognize that there's a world out there that is in pain and we can have them in mind, we can pray for them, we can give charity to help. I think we're up to now almost 45,000 people every air shops. I do have a very lofty goal reaching 100,000 because I think this is going to make in Shemayim a roar to recognize the pain of all these Eden, so Hashem should be there for us, we should be able to help and guide everybody. The pain of waiting to do a treatment or to have a baby is not describable. No couple trying to have a child should not have a chance because there is no money. My item today isn't any more this infertility organization. We actually are an umbrella 
covering so many different other organizations, whether it's cancer, whether it's infertility, whether it's shidduchim, whether it's genetic research, whether it's high-risk pregnancy. Our programs go on and on and on. My mind and my heart is set for so many more things to accomplish the next 12 months. So I do ask people to step up to the plate, make it easier for me to realize my dreams, which actually is the dreams of so many people in Klai Yisrael.